What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Dr. D-Dub here, and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. We are starting here with the merchant to kick things off with a bang. Apparently, he's had dinner with the, the royalty people, whoever they are, and now we have to discuss strategy with him. We're still a ways off from getting Miss Charm support, but let's go ahead and do this while we're here. The dinner was magnificent. We've gained some support in the Royal Council. I think I know a way to gain the Royal Council's full support. When you're ready, my friend, I'll be glad to share my plan with you. Okay. When I'm ready? Does that mean we have to get Miss Charm's support first? Because clearly this isn't a dialogue option now. Well, that's fun. We can buy faceted diamonds from the merchant. That's kind of cool. I don't know why that's cool, but it is. Anyway, I hope everyone's doing well today. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. We're going to stop off and buy some more hop seeds real quick, though. I was not planning on doing this, but since we're here, we need more and a lot more of the gold variety. It seems like he's selling more each time. Didn't he start out selling three per day? And now he's selling five at a time? Maybe I'm making that up, but I'm pretty sure that's true. Anyway, I'm going to go get these planted real quick. But for today, I mentioned last time I wanted to get the graveyard uh, lanterns in. And I'm thinking we'll do that. There's another perk that is lantern related that I think is under building? No? Smithing? Rules of burning. Yes. Blueprint. Place for a lantern. That seems kind of fun. So you know what? Let's get it! Because why not do all things lantern right now? So now we can make a place for a lantern and a lantern network. I'm thinking one of those places lanterns like around our workyard or around town or something. Are these fertilized? Yes, they are. Okay. Uh, do we not? Wait, what? I bought five gold hops, not five gold hop seeds. Oh, well. I guess I'll put these here and do that some other time. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Oopsie. And I'll harvest all this later as well because I eh, don't feel like it right now. Okay, so I want to check and see what these lantern things are. I'm planning on building enough lanterns. We need, I believe it's seven more. And I've brought all this stone over here. Uh, this was sitting up by the deposit that you can mine from, right by our bird, not bird, our bee houses, <laughs> not bird houses. Although that'd be kind of cool. Okay, so can we make, we can make a water pump. Like right now. Oh. Cool. It just... What does this do? It automatically collects water? Oh, that's nice. And every so often you can just come up to it and retrieve it? That is super handy. I don't have to do the whole scoop it out of the buckets and then... Uh, empty those buckets by using them in my inventory. That's so nice. How much you want to bet the place for lantern thing is going to be a way to add even more lanterns to the graveyard? Oh, I kind of hope it's not. Because then I'm going to want to place them like everywhere. Okay, thank goodness. And we need to fix the fence too. So today... We're going to be fixing the fence, building every lantern that can be placed. And I guess we'll have to remove this one as well. Uh, remove that. And we'll come do that when we're ready. Where does the lantern network get built? So we did it. Or we checked the graveyard. We've checked our work yard. That lantern's always been there. Uh, is it added... Would it be in the garden? Oh, I wonder if it's in our... Uh, in our cellar anywhere. 
It wouldn't be the dungeon. What the heck? What? Why doesn't it tell you? Blueprint Lantern Network and Place for Lantern. It's part of... It stems off of the furnace? So maybe it's crafted... Maybe you create the lantern network at the furnace? Is that a thing? Probably not, but I can check anyway. No. Man, I'm at a loss. I don't know. All right, though, I'm going to go ahead and make up all the materials needed, which is going to take a, a little bit. Man, I have something stuck in my throat today. I apologize. So we need... It's four stone per lantern, four simple iron parts per lantern, and two glass each. So we need at least 28 stone, and then 28 simple iron parts, and 14 glass. So let me go ahead and get all those materials together, and then we will make things... I was going to say nice and lit, but that's super lame. We'll go put lanterns around. All right, I have everything that I need. Wow, that did not come out right. Everything that I need to create the rest of the lanterns and to fix the fence. And I'm excited about that. And then we need to start working on figuring out how to make bodies not suck so much because that has been an issue for a while. And I don't know how to make a lot of the stuff needed for this or for making them not be terrible. Okay, that's four of the seven. I hope I counted this right. Five, six, and seven. Beautiful. Look at how illuminated everything is now. It's so nice. Some of these aren't lit yet. It's like they've got to wait till night, but the ones we just place automatically turned on? That's kind of strange. Anyway, now that we can see what we're doing, let's go ahead and uh, fix the fence. Ooh, that upped the graveyard quality by 10? That looks nice. I wonder if we can eventually, now that there's like stone bits, I wonder if we can eventually upgrade the whole thing to stone with the, the wrought iron bars. Build stone fence. Hey, would you look at that? Polished brick of stone, 24 of those, two carved pieces of stones, and 12 complex iron parts. I think we could make that happen. That doesn't seem that bad. 24 polished brick of stone, 2 carved, and 12. 24, 12, and no, 24, 2, and 12. I'm going to try and remember that. And at some point, and I'm going to keep checking all the different places that I can build blueprints. I want to find this lantern network, because I don't know where that's at. And if I don't find it by the end of this episode, feel free to let me know. But there's a chance I might, so hold your comments. I, it'd be cool if you could have some, like, in your yard. Because there's, like, not a whole lot going on here. At least that you can see. Okay, so 24. What did I say? Polished brick of stone? Oh, man. 24 of these. <laughs> I'm going to be here a little while. And then, before I forget everything, that we need carved pieces of stone. We need two of those. So we'll need to make another one of these. So that we can get that going. And then, just the 12. I'm just going to try and queue everything up so I don't have to remember it. And then, I know we have a couple complex iron parts. But we're going to need some more. So let's make some simple iron parts first. So that way we have them. And then we can do our 12 complex iron parts. Why don't I do this more often? And then we needed an iron chisel, correct? Didn't we have one? Did we have one or did we use it? Pretty sure we might have used it. That's a steel chisel. Okay, so I was just getting them confused. So we'll make ourselves an iron chisel. This one we actually will need to make right now. And then it looks like because of that, which took... Uh, simple iron parts, we will need to add some more simple iron parts. And can we swap these around? What if I add more of that? No? 
I don't know how that determines the order. But anyway, give me a sec to make all of this. I'm probably going to have to sleep in the process because I've already consumed quite a bit of wine. And then we will upgrade the fence yet again. Okay, I figured out a cool little trick. It's not the biggest issue ever, but it's kind of a quality of life improvement. So, you know how... And I realize I could have used polishing paste to make this stone, but I was using an iron chisel. So, in order to be able to interact... So, I queued up like 24 of these, and I pressed and held F, and I crafted it. And then as soon as it's done, everything that you're crafting pops out onto the ground, and then you have to pick it back up. Since a chisel is required to make it, if you're pressing and holding F, as soon as it pops out onto the ground, you no longer have a chisel in your inventory. So it doesn't count as being able... Uh, I needed 12 of these, right? It doesn't count... No, I needed 12 of these. There we go. It doesn't count as being in your inventory when it's on the ground, obviously. So what you can do is create two of them so when one pops out onto the ground, you already have one in your inventory and it starts using that. It uses them equally because you're basically using one and then the other and then back to the other one and then back to the other one. It's kind of a cool system. I really like it. I think I'm going to be doing that from now on. It makes things go a lot faster. I know it's not a drastic change, but like... Sometimes it's the little things that make all the difference. And in that case... I felt like it made quite a difference. So, now if I counted this right, we should have everything we need to upgrade. I'm assuming it's going to make everything look like this. Perhaps with larger like corner pieces or maybe some stone pillars in between. But let's do a quick, quick walk around real quick just to see what we're working with currently. Then I do need to cut all these trees at some point too. Although I kind of like them. It feels like... An overgrown... I wish you could add... Trees. Not just lawn, but like... Trees. Alright, so we have a 10 quality fence right now. And this... Oh! We'll add another 10. Wait, does that mean it's not 20? Did it not update? There we go. That is a sick looking archway. And I love the lighting that is coming off of our body. Look! The archway is flying. It's trying to get lift off. So cute. I'm weird. I know. So yeah, just as I thought. We've got little stone pillars and... I wonder if it can go even higher than that. Probably. No? Dang. Oh well. That is a nice looking graveyard. If I do say so myself. I like it. Alright though. Um... I want to work on some alchemy stuff. And I know that doesn't usually go super great. But I have a plan. So all we have to do to make... And it's ultimately book related. I think it was. In order to make... I don't even remember where this was. Uh, a book? No, a hardcover. Where's that made at? Here? Yeah. So in order to make a hardcover, we need tanning agent. And I... Wait. Is this where I was going with my train of thought? I don't remember. I remember we needed... And I have it in my, my notes. Attempt to make toxic extract. But I cannot for the life of me remember what we needed it for. I thought it was for tanning agent, but maybe I'm completely making that up. Is there something that needs... I don't remember. Either way, I'm going to try making it. And hopefully in the process, I'll remember what I needed it for. But pretty much everything down here, we've created. Or we've made into essence and extract and powder and stuff before. But there's some stuff in our garden I don't know if we have. Like pumpkins, I don't think we've used. Lentils... Uh, I'm not sure if we've done onions. What else? Uh, I don't know if we've extracted grapes or hops. Okay, have we studied these? Apparently we have. We haven't studied a pumpkin. Okay, so... 
So we need an extract. So it's going to be the vial shape thing. So we're not sure about pumpkins, so we'll hold off on that for now. It wouldn't be cabbage. Wouldn't be carrots. Uh, wheat doesn't compose into anything. Onion can be made into extract. So let's try that. And is that literally it? That's literally it. All right, then. Oh, and let me go ahead and drop off my uh, my mess here. Wow, 72 Pete. For Pete's sake. <laughs> and can we put these guys to work at all? Is there anything we have seeds for? Sure, wheat, cabbage, and why don't you do carrots? There we go. Now we're not wasting our zombies. Perfect. Okay, so I want to try this. I don't know if this is going to give me what I need. We are going to have to wait around for it. And then if this doesn't work, we can go try... I'm just now remembering I forgot them. Uh, see if hops or grapes can be used. And then we have 33 faith. We used a lot of it for making stone stuff. I just now remember that. Is this what we... Distillation cube? Is this what we use? Beeswax? Hemp? I don't know. Let's do an onion. I don't know if we've done this yet. Let's hope that works. If not... Uh, well, we've done beeswax before, right? I don't know. I need to get that Excel spreadsheet going. Wow, this actually goes kind of quick. Now I just need to remember what I needed it for. Um, I think I'm actually going to go real quick while this is working. Rewatch my last episode and figure out why I needed toxic extract. Because I don't honestly remember. I could have sworn it was something to do with books. Because I wanted to, but I, I don't know. I don't know why. So give me one sec while this cooks down. Uh, I'm going to see if I can't remember. Aha! Okay. I got it. It's to make, uh, it's done over here. It's to make acid. We have the chaos solution. We have the toxic powder. Oh my gosh. And is that what we need? That's three of what we need. Sweet. I got that on the first try. I'm kind of happy about that. <laughs> Yay, guessing. All right, and then all of our extracts go over here. It's so cool looking. I love this system. One of these days, I need to come down here and spend like hours just not recording and just stock up on all the things and populate my spreadsheet so I can actually do stuff. Oh, acid. It makes the one acid. But that is what we need. Ooh, inborn blacksmith. Find the time to make extra nails? Sure, why not? I'm at the point where I'm just going to be buying stuff as it becomes available because I don't really have my mind or my sight set on anything. Hold on, don't we need this acid? Get some acid to read the second part of the diary. That's with the astrologer on moon day. Guess what day today is? Moon day. Oh, yeah. Talk about that timing. Lighthouse, what's up, astrologer? I've got some acid for you. And then we can get the Necronomicon, or at least ask about it for Snake. Oh, ho, 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 yeah. I have the acid. Here's the acid. I think uh, there should be more than enough. It seems that I have everything I need to get these pages apart. Just a moment, young man. A bit of acid. The young are always in a hurry. But where are you going? There's nothing up ahead. Well, that's depressing. Gently pull the papers apart. Almost. Aha! I've still got it. Let's read what it says. Here we have three parts of the barrel. A necklace with a sapphire, a golden angle, and an endless notebook. To fix a mill? What? Are you kidding? Snake has an endless notebook. Hmm. I believe I know where to get a necklace and a golden angle. An angle like a protractor? Why would a necklace be needed? I don't know. When I was... Wait a second. There's something else on this page. With my friend, 
near the lighthouse, I should tell him Esmeralda is pregnant, his child. The astrologer's a dad? I think I'm going to have a stroke right now. I have a child. I may have a child. Amazing. Just unbelievable. What about the necklace? And you were talking about a necklace and a golden angle. Yes, yes, it's all connected. How strange. I might have a child. Of course, by now, he or she must be around 25. But, but still... We were talking about a necklace and a golden angle. Focus. <laughs> Young man, you must help me. You must. Yes, yes, I know exactly where you could find a golden angle. I'll tell you everything. Just help me find out what happened to Esmeralda and her... Our child. Fine, I'll help. How did you people manage things before? <laughs> Let's think where to start. Hmm. Esmeralda arrived here with a gypsy caravan through the Northern Pass. They can't leave because their pass collapsed. I hear that they still have a small camp near the mountain fort north of the village. You should go there and talk with her brother. He should... to be the Gypsy Baron now, after his father's death. We have to go talk to the Gypsy Baron. Cool. What about the Necronomicon? Yeah, we'll do this while we're here. I was gonna say, let's do one thing at a time, but that, but no, we're, we're gonna do this. If I'm right, it should be at the university, I think is what we said. Yes, that's what the good old days... That were the good old days, my bad. I think my life might have been... Uh, I didn't read all that. But now, nothing moves me anymore. I've known enough to know I'll never know enough. Well, that's deep. And besides all that, the Inquisition's rule... Rules gave become untenable. So, in the end, I quit. They gave become untenable. That, is that English? Maybe you still have some connections there? I need one book. The Necronomicon. Oh, young man. I took that book with me. Nobody looks after that magic garbage. So I decided to give it to my friend. He can't read, but he likes the pictures. Oh, gosh. <laughs> what a use for that book. Where's your friend now? Right here. <laughs> he works as a lighthouse keeper. Well, that's convenient. Hello, Lighthouse Keeper. About that book. Hi, do you still have that book the astrologer gave you? Yes, it's a big, fat book. The pictures are ugly. I'm using it as a leg for my wardrobe. Can you give it to me? Are we going to have to get him a book to swap it out with? I've already made a new leg, so why not? But it's a big, fat book, and judging from the pictures, it must be very interesting. But I'll try it trade it for a bunch of maggots seriously five maggots for a book of okay guess we're doing that i'm gonna nap first though because uh i am falling asleep as we walk oh and crap he's gonna be he's probably not gonna be there anymore especially since i just slept and we're not gonna be able to warp back there instantly that's okay, though. We'll grab the maggots, and we'll head up and see if we can talk to the Gypsy Baron. I don't know if he sleeps. Sounds weird, but I honestly don't. So we might be able to find him now. We might have to find him later. Either way. It'll work out. Everything will be fine. Alright, so we only needed five maggots. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Alright, let's go see if we can't pay a visit to the Gypsy Baron. Oh, Gypsy Baron, I have arrived. What's up, man? About Esmeralda. Can you tell me about your sister, Esmeralda? Where is she now? Your Inquisitor's friend. You know, I'll tell you about my sister, but on one condition. 
the Inquisitor's guards grabbed one of our friends. She's still waiting for her trial, so she might still be released. Ask your friend, Lord Inquisitor, to release her, and I'll tell you everything I know. I feel like I do a different voice for this guy every time, but that was fun. He's not my friend, but I'll try to help. Okay. So now we have to go talk to the Lord Inquisitor. On mail day, which is yesterday. Oh, that's a ways off. But that's okay. Uh, okay. So... We need to... Well, that's the next step, then. Get the nom... Get... Blah, 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 blah. We have to get the nom... Oh my gosh. Get the necro nom con for snake. Which we get from... Oh, wait. We can go do that. I was like, wait a sec. That's a totally different plot line. All right. I'll meet you guys at the lighthouse tower. Oh, why, good morning, lighthouse keeper. How's it going? I have your maggots to trade you for a book. That sounds so strange. Wow. That was simple. That was incredibly simple. So now all we have to do is wait for Snake to show up, and then we can give him the Necronomicon and progress that quest line. That's been going on forever. I don't know. He shouldn't be here right now, I don't believe. I think he's only here at night. Yeah, I know Snake, but that's okay. That's something we'll do next time, hopefully. He should be here on Green Day, and then we've got uh, Mail Day after that, and then we can do so many different quest steps all coming up. It's kind of exciting. Lots of stuff's happening. But since we're down here, I'm thinking maybe next time we'll do a, a dungeon run or something. We haven't done one of those in a little while, and we still have less than half of it to complete, so what's another seven levels to go? I think that needs to happen. All right, the ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Got the graveyard looking schnazzy and advanced some quest lines. And we also got the water pump. That thing's kind of cool. If I do say so myself. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Which I'm not even sure when that is right now because I'm going to be changing my upload schedule soon. But whatever that is, I'll see you then. And until then, as always, take care.